Hey y'all, Agrofiend here, and today I'm coming at you with another build guide. Now, this is not a normal build guide. This is not the normal solo build guide that I've been coming out with for Demon or Survivor. No, this is a complete team comp, and this thing absolutely devastates any demon that tries to stand in its way. Half a second with them possessing something, the demon's stunned. It absolutely obliterates anything that gets in its path. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer video today because I'm going to go through three characters and we're also going to have gameplay at the end. So like I say in every video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the video. All right, y'all, here we are. We're going to start with the top of the comp, the leader, Annie. Now, why is Annie so important and why do we use her? For her passives. We're using her for Slugger and for Haymaker. Now, Haymaker is 25% balance bar damage to basics. Where Slugger is 25% balance bar damage to elites, as well as 100% balance bar damage to bosses. That is huge, especially when you have two warriors stacking balance bar damage. Now, she's sitting here for the passes, but she also can contribute an insane amount. But this is how I've got her built. So we're going to go four in a great influence to give her the giant 15 meters. We're going to go two cardio because, in my opinion... All leaders need to in cardio. It's just an absolutely amazing perk. Artful Dodger, one for the extra dodge. Two deep pockets because we are going to play her like a ranged character as well. But we're also going to get in the mix. We want to bounce in and out. We want to go into melee on possessions, bounce out, and be able to clear things with her ranged. One in industrial strength because we have to. Three in reinforced amulet to give us even more protection while shielded. And here's where it gets good. Two in stopping power for more balance bar damage. Three in seeing stars, more balance bar damage. You see where this is going? Four in hollow point and three in wig splitter. Now, the hollow point and the wig splitter, they're not really there for damage on a possessed unit. They are there to help her clear. You get mobbed by five or six things. Your warriors are fighting one apiece. You can pop three or four things down with a nice shotgun or a hunting rifle or something like that and help keep that swarm tactic down but she also has seeing stars to where she can jump in the fray on a possessed with your two warriors and keep the balance bar uh tanked but stopping power this is the interesting part how i like to play her and how i've seen her very effective is i get one of the uh the five shot shotguns just the regular shotguns right Keep it on her. Try and find the highest rarity you can. Even a common one's great. But what you do is, as soon as a unit is possessed, you draw, you fire, get a hit to start the balance bar trigger, and then as, it's like as you're moving forward, and then literally just get in there with light attacks with a sledgehammer, hopefully a sledgehammer, maybe a baseball bat, something with high balance bar, and your other warriors get that initial help on breaking the balance bar from that one singular shot and it does make a difference i've tested it out many different ways so move forward to the target draw the shotgun get a pop hit the balance bar not for damage just hit it for the balance bar and then it it balances them so much faster so real quick and easy build with her you want to be meleeing on possessed units and you want to back out at range when clearing and you just want to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If you really get overwhelmed, pop her Q to give yourself an extra 25% damage and just blast minions down the best you can. So that's pretty much how she is. That's pretty much how you want to play her. Use your Q to clear. Only use your Q to clear. You could Because uh, you don't want to use your Q on a boss. You still want to shoot them once while moving in and y'all want to stun them as fast as possible. So Q is to clear the point of trash, basically, just unpossessed mobs so you can drop them as fast as possible. And then you want to be in the fray with your warriors, uh, balance barring them out. So now that we got Annie out of the way, we're going to get into the tanks and the meat and the big boys, the warriors. Stick around. All right, so now that we got Annie out of the way, we got Scotty. I prefer Scotty and Henry because... Although Warrior Ash is S tier and he's really good, to me, he's more of a DPS self-sustaining damage, self-sustaining tank. You really want him doing finishers. You want him doing lots of damage and so on and so forth, getting lots of kills. I think that's the best way to play him. You don't want him just standing in there and taking a beating because he's really not doing anything if he's just standing there. Henry has the lengthened shield bars and also has the invincibility scotty if he's standing in there and hitting at least he's doing the aoe damage to everything around you you see what i'm saying so 
Wash really doesn't make sense. I think Scotty and Henry make a whole lot more sense. So with Scotty, this is how I suggest he be built for the uh, the death ball, the, this 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 uh, particular comp. So one in last word because you have to. One in artful dodger because it gives you one extra dodge with the two pinks. And then we're going to go all the way over to here, and I'll tell you why. So you put one in initial strength, one in quicker cooldown, just to get the season survivor basic. The reason you want to get to basic is there's so much possession spam right now. We're mainly fighting basics. It's you fight a whole bunch of basics, and then you fight a boss, and then you fight a whole bunch of basics, and then you fight a boss. Every now and then you'll come into an elite build, but they're so slow. They hit hard, sure, but you can dodge most of their hits. So you really don't need to be canceling any damage of theirs because you can dodge the first hit, get you a hit or two more, and then dodge the second hit, get another couple hits, and then you might take a hit. And then you you keep doing some more damage, and then you dodge a hit and back and forth. So you're essentially saving yourself damage with the dodge on the big lumbery elites. Uh, it's more than like the 10% you'll get or so on and so forth with uh, you know, reinforced amulet or so on and so forth. You just fight a lot more basics, and this made a whole lot more sense. So we're going to go four into Devastating Force to give us that 15% melee, and then we get into the good stuff. Three into Seeing Stars because <laughs> what's the name of the game? Balance Bar. 25% Balance Bar damage. One in Blunt Force Trauma to get you over to Heavy Hitter because, Scotty, you're going to be using primarily heavies. So 15% more damage on heavy melee attacks. That means every melee, heavy melee is doing 30% more damage, which attributes to his AoE as well. 10% health reduction just because being in the fray and having 10% uh, not health damage reduction is amazing. One in fighting shape to get over to stunning strikes. Increase the balance bar damage from your heavy melees. We're going to primarily be doing heavies. So you have 20% balance bar there. You have 25% balance bar from seeing stars. That right there is 45%. You stack that with haymaker. You stack that with slugger. And you are crushing damage bars like crazy. So basically what you want to do with Scotty. Use his heavies to keep the, uh, you know, to fight basics. To fight elites. To fight uh, unpossessed mobs. Right, and just do as much AOE around you as possible, making it easier for people to kill things. When a possess pops out, you jump on the possess and you just start heavy attacking to break the balance bar. The Annie will back you up. You will get the haymaker. You will get the slugger off of her, and then she's also going to come in, like I said before, with a shotgun shot to start the balance bar break. And then that right there is going to lead into you and the other warrior breaking the balance bar, and then you just heavy attack forever until they die they will not move that's the great thing so very very simple um warrior play from scotty it's um it's just it's i won't want to call it brain dead but i mean it's heavy attack heavy attack heavy attack. you play them like normal it's just that as soon as something gets possessed everybody has to jump on it right then leave what you're doing and jump on it so anyways on to the next warrior we're gonna go see uh big old man henry all right stay tuned Okay, now here we are with the big man that never falls over himself, Henry. So, how do we want to play with Henry? Well, we're going to be beating the hell out of balance bars again. So, he's our second tank in the lineup right here. And the reason you choose Henry is because, again, he, be he benefits from being in the fray, benefits from being in combat, big, long, lengthy shield bars. And again, Wash falls behind in what we're trying to do here because he needs to do finishers. Henry doesn't need to do finishers. Henry just needs to pick up something big, pick up something blunt, and swing the shit out of it. So, now I do have him set up different than Scotty. I know, I know heavy uh, attacks do more balance bar damage. That's great. Problem is, you have a lot of basics, okay? You have a lot of basics running around. Now, Henry doesn't benefit from doing heavy attacks. He really does. He's just a normal heavy attack with whatever he has in his hand and whatever's in the build. It just swings and does damage, right? Scotty has the AoE he benefits from, right? Henry doesn't. But again, a lot of basics, a lot of fast attacks. Basics can attack quite quickly. So we want to be doing balance bar and damage with our light attacks more than our heavies. Once we stun something, we can go into heavies, but we can light attack other things, heavy attack, and then you know start with light attacks. Once we see it get stunned, go into heavy attacks with Henry. So the, this is why I have him built like he is. 
So, first of all, let's go over this. Unstoppable, activating this, activating this ability. Sorry, I stuttered a little. Activating this ability temporarily prevents damage to health or shield, so invincibility. So good for him. You get a free pickup in case somebody dies, you know, as long as they don't, you know, grab you with Evil Ash or fart on you with Henrietta, um, so on and so forth. You, you get a free pickup, okay? Um, you also can be in the fray, and if you're about to die because the healer ran out of shimps or something, pop this sucker and maybe finish somebody off for uh, an objective win or so on and so forth. There's a lot of utility behind his Unstoppable. Um, he gets to start with an additional shield bar. Great for early game. Love that early game. But also five shields in the middle of a death ball, just sitting there tanking damage is fantastic. <clears throat> Rebound. Rebound is pretty good if your healer is keeping shields on you and you can keep shields up. Reflects a percentage of the damage you receive back onto your attacker because you don't want to receive too much damage but if your shields are staying up and, and you're not, I mean, you do, you do want to re receive a, a lot of damage, but you don't want to receive damage to your health, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So if it's just constantly hitting shields, sure, uh, the rebound's great. It helps you in the fight a little bit. Every time something hits you, it goes back and so on and so forth. So, like, if you're on a possessed and y'all are all death ball on the possessed, right? Scotty's hitting him, doing AoE. Something gets a hit on you, it does damage back to it. Everything around you and Scotty end up killing itself. So, as well as, you know, if they get too close, they take a hit from y'all and so on and so forth. So, it's just this big AoE, again, death ball of just pulsing energy while y'all just balance bar this thing to death. And then battle harden. Increase maximum health and shield bar. Again, tank. You need him in the fray. You need him in there just beating on things. That's what big man do. So... We're going to start with the build. One and last word because we have to. Three and reinforce amulet because he has five shield bars and he normally always has shields up. So 10% is great. The 2% is not really worth that extra point. If that was 15% damage reduction, I might consider throwing the extra point in there. But 2%, not worth a point to me. One in artful dodger so you can get your two dodges with full pinks. Four in devastating force because who doesn't like damage? And now into the meat of the build. Again, three seeing stars. I said this on Scotty. 25% balance bar damage. Fantastic. It's what we're going for. Balance bar. Stack that with any. Two in blunt force trauma for Henry because Henry is going to be getting a blunt weapon. He wants a sledgehammer. Big man want big hammer. But hammer, baseball bat, shovel, you're looking for one of those three two-handed weapon. Okay, A blunt two-handed weapon is the definite end-all be-all of what you want. 3% tougher than hell, 10% damage. Everybody needs to take less damage. You uh, you put that with reinforced amulet, now you got 20% because you've always got a shield up most of the time with him. So if you have a shield up, you're taking 20% reduced damage from anything swinging at you. Tougher than hell, fantastic. One in fighting shape because we got to. You could go into second wind if you want to, but who cares? Like I said, you're more likely to be at 100% health than you are 30% health. So stunning strikes, again, balance bar from heavy attacks. So... Light attack, right? The light attacks, like I was talking about earlier, are for fighting non-possessed stuff, okay? When you go into fighting with, um, with, with, with a possessed unit, heavy attacks. You can start with a light to... I like to start with a light attack to move me in that direction and then start with heavy attacks or uh, continue with heavy attacks, right? So it kind of like with Scotty, I'll swing a light attack in the direction I want to go with my axe and then go into heavies because it starts your combo. Normally your first swing with a heavy attack is really slow, but the second one's sped up. So I like to lead with a light and end with three heavies uh, when, when going into a target. One in weapon mastery one handed because you have to and two or three, I'm sorry, in weapon mastery two handed. Now, the reason I say this is because when you, <laughs> You are going to be doing heavy attacks, so heavy hitter is great, but when you're fighting basics because they do hit so fast, you want to be doing more lights than you do heavies. And I'm talking about non-possessed units. Or if you get a possessed unit on you and you're not with the team or you're like over here by yourself or whatnot and you need to kill it or do some damage balance bar and so on and so forth, light attacking is better than heavy attacking. So instead of relying on heavy attacks... I like to have the two-handed to switch in between light attacking, heavy attacking, and not losing 15% damage. I think it's worth it because it gives yourself more utility on using light and heavy attacks. Because, yeah, sure, you're going to be using heavy attacks to attack the possess, 
But what happens in in certain situations where maybe a light attack was better? Maybe light attacking something down was better early game, late game, you know, kind of whatever, clearing the point could be better. Yes, you want to spam heavies, but I still like, I personally like the utility of being able to light attack for 15% extra damage instead of, hey, I only heavy attack for 15% more damage. So that's the reason I chose two-handed over heavy hitter was for utility on my light and heavy attacks and still not giving up damage. So that right there is Annie. That right there is Scotty. And that right there is Henry. So now we're going to talk about the support. And uh, support might shock you. Stick around. So I'm back to give you that shocking news on which support it is. And yes, I have magically changed shirts because it's a couple days since I recorded those last videos. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to talk about supports right now. And again, I told you it would shock you to what support you can use. I actually, Pablo is just on the screen. Forget Pablo. You literally can use any of these three supports that you want in the death ball comp. Whatever you're the most comfortable with. But Pablo, in my opinion, fits in the best because we have ran it with Sash. We have ran it with Cheryl. And we've ran it with Pablo. And from what we're seeing, Pablo actually prevents the demon the most from getting to your health. Health is the only thing that takes you down. So if your health goes down, so do you. Pablo has had zero healing given, and it wasn't that he wasn't healing, he just never got out of our shields. Now, this is not with randoms, this is a four-man pre-made. So we're all talking and all recording our stats. Pablo had zero healing given one game. He had 150 some odd healing given another game, 400 healing given one game. He's never broken 500 healing given in one game on the stat board because the demon just has such a hellacious time punching through our shields. So, if you want my opinion on support, go Pablo. If you're not a good Pablo, go Cheryl. If you're not a good Cheryl, go Sash. If you can't play any of those, don't play support. <laughs> but in my opinion, Pablo, because of his shields... Uh, is is the best best work in the death ball with Annie, Scotty, and Henry. So, again, that I know that's a quick uh, quick analysis right there, and so on and so forth. But that's really it. Just play whatever supports you want. That's the best thing I can tell you about the death ball. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching the video breakdown of the builds, and I appreciate you so much. Uh, got some gameplay coming up from today's stream. It was fun. We we had fun with it more than anything. Again, the demon just could not touch us. We just knocked the balance bar out. They go down, they die, and they just literally cannot do anything. So we got a team together. We ran the death ball. We had some fun. We ran three or four games. I'm going to go find one where I believe the demon was on us the entire time. And every time they get a possessed, their balance bar within the first time they swing. So thank you guys, and enjoy the gameplay. 100% on top. Oof. Yes, imagine imagine Henry being able to go invincible every 40 seconds. Jeez. They'd always have a fucking unless you had your boss out, they they'd always have a, a free res. Yeesh. Or imagine Wash being able to fucking trigger his wise man every like Professor Raymond Noby, 40 seconds in history. I know now that nothing can remedy the atrocity I've ever Come face me in the light losers. Follow these instructions. Oh, your chest. Inside lay Nobi. Draw a map and split it into Fledgy. pieces to hide them from the demon. Oh, nice. the pieces to find the location of the Kandarian dagger and the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Yeah, swallow a soul. Whatever. Blah blah blah. All right, get the fuck out of here and head to Prime Pen. A lot more looting opportunity up there. There's a lot of things they could add, Bose. There, there's a lot of different things I think they could do with the survivors. It's the demons they're gonna have a hard time coming up with shit to do. All right, I'll take the, the sword. Not what I want, but I'll take it. Grabbing all the hills for straws. Girls, I've gutted the tunnel all the way up to the main area for heals. Okay. Gotta 
pistol up here. A revolver, I mean. Uh, death from a distance. All the hills that I got are out here in front of the truck straws right there. The survivors have acquired the fat. first piece oh, of the map. Shotgun in here. Take heart. Sad. Oh, that'd be Annie. Oh, she's already got one of those. Yeah, I had to leave her action. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you want that shotgun right there. Mm -hmm. What are we playing against, Necro? Yeah, yes, Necro. Necro. Right, I'll take crossbow. Crossbow's a one-shot the, uh, the, the, the Piper even through, um, even through buffed health. Uh, Misery, we'll go out the other end. Nice. Could use more than a ball bat, but I'll take it right now because, yeah. So I was looking and I think the ball bat does less dis like the same balance bar as the ax. So I'll, take a, I'll take the sledge. Until I get an ax. If I remember correctly, it's like 50-50 dismemberment and balance bar on, um, on the bat. And then it's like 75 dismemberment, 50 balance bar or some shit on the ax or something. You have obtained another section of God, so many saws. Surely what the fuck? Another sledge. On your side. Double barrel out of that blue. Blue? Oh. Yeah. Right up here. yeah, there's double barrel on that blue right there, Annie. Uh, I would mm, almost want to stick with that fucking five shot. Because you're not in it for the damage, you're in it for the balance bar. What's the balance bar on that? That's more. Okay, take that then. Shot. Take that then, because you only want one shot, and then you start swinging light attacks with the sledge. Yeah, that's true. So that's more balance, bro. And there's a sledgehammer right here, and there's a blue right here. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, right in the peepee. -pee. Right in the Kanegan. The devil is always waiting. The devil was always waiting. You're right. Ooh, there's a blue. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Yes, there is. Let's see. Yeah, dismemberment 75, balance bar 50 on the axe, but the bat is 50 and 50, which is hilarious. So the axe does more balance bar damage than a blunt, ob than a, than a blunt object. Hilarious. All right, let's, uh, oh, we got to go up to flight. Let's just go up that way. Don't bother going down the left No chest on the pier or the dock or whatever. You think this game will add any types of traps that can block pathways or separate teams? Or separate teams? Yeah, hmm. maybe like the hands that come up and grab you. Yeah, maybe like a trap that you activate, like, like he said, put a big skeleton hand up, like a wall or something. So you can cut off areas. It seems OP, but it might be interesting. Be very interesting. I'd be very interested to see that. Dude, you just fired a shot and I about shit myself. I do that every time you play Pablo. I forget. Yeah. Even if I wasn't Pablo. Yeah. Loot. See. I hear it. Yeah, he's I hear it. I'm me. looking for it. Yeah, he's trying to block the page. I can't get to it. I got flute. Yeah, on us. There we go. That way we can at least progress. You have the yeah. final piece right. of the map. Revealing the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. But they are key to traps your success. Yeah, I mean, I can see them doing that. Traps would be cool. Adding new traps would be cool. I think a really cool ability would be able to be, be able to put like a scare trap, oh, like a normal somewhere that it's not. Be clear. All 
Alright, he's gonna possess me, so get ready. He got me, got me, got me, got me, got me, got me. Oh, ow. Shimp's here. Alright, I need to get by Henry. Yeah, you're probably right on that. Elite on me. Never mind. I'm gonna stay right by Henry. Uh, yeah, there's three. That's all I got. Any? Thank you. He set up for a piper. Get ready. He went quiet. Yeah, you got it. There it is. Pablo, you. Got that or? Yeah, I'm trying to get it. All right, well, here uh, in our direction. Um, Possessed. Yeah, right, right. He got two swings out. Thank you. Ash. All right, get ready. Go. Yeah, he's got rock steady on. All right, watch out. Easy on killing stuff right now. You might have. Okay, that'll work. You have to kill the lost pages of the Bye. Necronomicon. He the might be come back faster, guys. Dude, his ability stays. What the fuck? That's a bunch of horse shit. Okay. Ah. Hola. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's go. All right. What's your count? Let's get a car. Oh, I'm five five. Okay. I turned on this I need so I could see these weirdos die. Not because two, I'm maybe. The book says uh. that life is vital in the <laughs> Just need a couple of Ammies. Match them. Yeah. Fucking another cola. I want colas. I want Ammies. Dropping a cola at the door. Right. That should be six for you. Chest is outside in the garage or barn or whatever. He's on us. Yeah, Spooky's back. We need to get in the car and go. No, he possessed me. Adorable. Yeah, you're the Necronomicon, yeah, buddy. Yes, get in a fight with a warrior. He's got full energy. He has no energy. Go now. Oh, come on, Annie. Come on, Annie, get in. Fuck. No fucking energy. I can't get in when you keep backing up. <laughs> Go. Damn. Scoochies. Hey, what's up? Straws is on? Yes, he is. Oh my god. Yes, Milky. Straws is on. What's up, Scoochies? How's it going? Oh my god. Okay, everybody back the fuck up. Go, go, go. Oh, you are fucking annoying. Just somebody fuck. Y'all just go, go. I'll fight everybody off. Jesus Christ. There. Now go. Okay, or not. Yeah, I'm running. Going down to Bronson. Fuck it. Good. Uh, doing good, brother. How's the games? Games are great. Uh, no losses today so far. We'll see if we can keep that trend going. Here, aggro, take that. Thank you. 
lead down. There's a car there for you guys. Yeah, yeah, go for it. We're, we're coming. Behind you. I'm Let's get in the car. All right, let's go. So how's it going today, Scoochies? Like game-wise, like you, you playing, getting good games in, good teammates and stuff. Good to see you. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much. We'll have plenty of we'll have plenty of Amis and shit right here at Fishing Village after we. Well, no, we're going past, aren't we? Oh, sorry, my bad. The there. there should be oh, okay. there. Okay. Should be able to get some some stuff going on in there. What are the dark ones are? Sewage, maybe? Sewage. River. Didn't see him at fishing. Could be a derelict right there. Bronson. We went to Bronson. They weren't in sewage. No, that's right. They weren't. We're okay. We went to Frank. We went to Frank, Ben. Summon your right. courage and stay close. Uh, Alright. So either in the river or... Viper is going to be in the house. Come to the far end. Come to the far end. The blue doesn't reach out here. Where is out here? Okay, go over here. Over here, over here, everybody. Over here, over here, over here. It doesn't, doesn't reach over here. Oh, he's got fucking Andy. He got him. Andy, go away. He is all over Annie. And you, you keep running back into the flute. Better wish he was asking. I'm not here, I guess. God for a death ball. We don't give a fuck about your damn flute. Alright, everybody get over here. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Come to my mark. Okay, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Okay. Uh, it reaches now. He put one up behind us, I think. Oh, no, now it's not. Okay. Haven't played yet today. Gonna get on a bit later, but yeah, games are generally good. Hell yeah, probably Doll Factory. That's what I was thinking too, Doll Factory. Oh shit, it no. Your team right, now holds good. the Kendorian dagger, an ancient weapon carved from the spear. All right, fishing village. Is it Fishing Village? I didn't even see him over yep. there. All right, cool. Let's go. You now possess the oh, lost wanna... pages um, and can yeah, I, I think we just, I think we just go. Must face the dark yeah. ones. I'll bring the car up. The I'll bring the car up. Feels for you. Cars up. I'm gonna lose my fear. The old turbo. You get in. Cool. Get Pablo. Yeah, I'm good. All right. We to try to get through this building and check for stuff. All right. All right, we got one bar down. I need to be a Henry. Come over on this side. A little less congested. Yep. Come over here. A little less congested. Fiber's up somewhere. Just back up away from that house. Oh, on the other side? Okay. Yeah, come over here on me. Alright. There we go. All right, 
Everybody stay on book. Hola. My shield. There is no doubt that the demon will right. attempt to destroy the Everybody attack the possessed if you can. You must not allow it. I'll go get the flute. Yeah, he'll go find the pipers. All right, possessed on me. Go under the book. That's fine. Ash. He didn't have time to put one up. Let's go. On me. Stunned. Backing everything off. Bye, Ash. Have a good one. Get ready for a Piper. He's going to put one down. No possess. On book. That's on me oh, and Annie. Done. Polo's on the ground. Another one on the other side of the book, too. That way, towards my mark. He doesn't reach the book. That's it. He got one, two swings, three swings. There's two swings. That's why you run the death ball. Yep, two swings. In one elite possession. No swings. What's this one? This build's so gross. That build, that that comp is so disgusting. It, fucking Jesus. Woof. Town, you don't go through its resources. Oh wow, you had to Only heal for thirteen sixty-two that time. That's the highest I've seen. Dark spirits in yeah, you just dropped the book. Yeah, that was at the no book. 